really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Ooh. Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Ugh. Hey, friends. Sorry to greet you with an ugh, but my little bro just threw the biggest fit. My parents just told him he has to use my old bicycle helmet instead of getting a new one. He wanted one of those helmets with a mohawk on top. Like this. <laughs> I guess it is pretty cool. My old one that he will be using is cool too. It's blue. My little bro loves blue. And it has lightning bolts on the side. It has a cool black chin strap that makes a fun click sound when you buckle it. I used to love that click sound. I think he will too. Sure, it's a little old. Hmm. I wonder... What does my mom and dad say? When something is old, but cool? It's the... Vin vintage! Yeah! Old, but cool! Vintage! That's what my old helmet is! He says it's not fair every time he has to use one of my vintage old things. I get it! It's not fair that he gets a lot of my old stuff when I used to get new stuff. But a lot of things aren't fair. It's not fair I can't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because I'm allergic to nuts. It's not fair that I have to go to bed early when I'm not even tired. It's not fair that I have to clean my room all the time when I love it Cali crazy. This fair thing is confusing and has me a little Cali cray myself. Now I'm not even sure what being fair is all about. I bet our Bible story will have more to say about it. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 20. One day, Jesus told a story to teach people about God's kingdom. In God's kingdom, there are no favorites. He invites everyone to be a part of his family. In this story, there was a man who owned a vineyard. That's like a farm for grapes. Early in the morning, he hired workers. He agreed to pay them what you would get for working a whole day. So they got to work. At around 9 o'clock in the morning, the man saw some more people not working. He told them, come work in his vineyard. He said he would pay them for a day of work. So they got to work. Then around noon and again 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the man did the same thing. Even at 5 o'clock, which is pretty late in the workday, he found people just standing around. So he told them to work in his vineyard. At the end of the day, the owner of the vineyard decided to give all the workers their money. The workers who started at five o'clock received a whole day's pay. The workers hired in the afternoon, they got the same. The workers hired at nine o'clock in the morning, they got the same. And so did the workers who were hired early in the morning. The workers hired first, well, they weren't happy about this. They thought they should get paid more because they work longer. The owner told them that he was being fair to them. They agreed to work for a whole day's pay and that's how much money he gave them. The owner made it clear that he gets to choose what he does with his money and he wanted to give all the workers the same pay. Jesus wanted them to know that God is like the owner of the vineyard. God chooses to give all of God's love to everyone, no matter how long they believed in God or loved God back. Jesus also wanted people to know that as long as he was around, he would treat people the same way. Jesus is always fair. Okay, I'm confused. So the people who worked only one hour got the same amount of money as the people who worked there all day? How is that fair? Oh, I get it. So the people who showed up in the morning got paid the right amount. The owner just decided to be generous and give the same amount to everyone else. Wow, that's so neat. In the Bible story told us that Jesus loves us like that. It doesn't matter how long we've known Jesus. He loves us all the same. So I know my little bro doesn't think it's fair that he always has to use my old things. But maybe I could help him remember all the cool things he got from me, even though they're a little old. Oh, like those awesome bee mittens that I used to wear and buzz around in the snow. 
and now he buzzes around in them. And, oh, I know! I have this brand new toy that I got for Christmas that I haven't opened yet because I was saving it. Maybe I can cheer my little bro up by giving it to him. We are all going to feel like some things are not fair. Someone might have more stuff than we do. They might be taller. They might go on more family trips. But instead of looking at them and feeling it's not fair, we should look to Jesus. Jesus loves us all so much no matter what we do or what we have. Jesus is always fair! Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye! Hebrews 13, 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever.